Welcome back to the Nerdiverse. I'm Danny. I'm Jang. Here we are. It is the finale of Free Run, episode 28. It would be embarrassing when we met again. It's the final uh, Free Run Friday. Sad times. Yeah. Thank God, no, Jack. <laughs> wow, how dare you? It's actually been really good the past few episodes. Yeah, it's been all right. It's I, I mean, we'll give our stick. That's another thing. Stick around, everybody, because we'll give our review afterwards on a scale of one to ten on what we thought about the uh, first season. Um, yeah, and we'll and we'll give our thoughts and feelings on what we thought about it all at the end. But uh, yeah, I'm mm. excited to see where this is going to leave us. Is it going to give us a horrible cliffhanger, or is it going to wrap it nice? Well, let's get into this then. Let's get into the finale, see who's going to leave us with, and then uh, we'll give our thoughts. Indeed, let's do it. Okay, three, two, one. one let's let's go. go. Oh, it's Denkin's turn now. Yeah, because we Fair. had Fern last episode actually become the first to pass, didn't we, as a first class mage? Yeah. I thought only one passes, though. No, I don't think so. Oh, have they met before? More feet picks for free. I know, right? They need to stop doing that. <laughs> need to start charging for it if they're going to put it out there. Like that, then that's just waste. Oh. Oh, what? What? So we've had two pass. I suppose that's good, though, because it means his squad can go further north, so we're going to get them go for, uh, going forward then. Is she going to make it? Or is she just too crazy? Wait, what? <laughs> I know why she's passed, because she'd take anybody on. Wow, so she actually managed to get all the way through this time. Three pass so far. I love how free red literally fails. Like everybody, all these little, tiny people get get through. <laughs> wow, he got called out immediately. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? He's never even been here. Oh my god. <laughs> what? What? How how powerful is that? As if he passed for that. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> I mean, fair play, mate. Imagine he's just sitting there having a cup of tea and Obi <laughs> literally this like, entire on, time. Please pass this guy. This guy is in interesting. Hmm. Oh, it's that question. Oh. Mate, she's just handing out passes. I like know, you know, right? <laughs> How is she going to take the compliment? <laughs> what? what the, is Free Red the only person she's failed? Jesus. <laughs> Well, there were the few at the beginning, weren't there? I know, but come on. Are they going to have to do a second round or something? Or is that it? Well, I thought that was it, wasn't it? Potentially. So all that's really done is given us the understanding that these squads we're going to see more of that aren't we going forward. Probably, yeah. If they're all going to be first-class majors, they're going to be super powerful or important. Oh. Yeah, that's fair, actually. Yeah, that's what he was trying to do, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Free room, just like, cool story, bro. <laughs> just walks off. <laughs> Double date? Mm. Yeah, they're on friendly terms. 
I mean, the age gap between them two is not good. To be honest. Has Denkin oh, just right. adopted two more kids? <laughs> well, I think he treats the other girl more like his like granddaughter or something. <laughs> Stark literally has no idea what's been going on, does he? <laughs> See, I reckon Stark could take any of these lot on. You know, I reckon he'd smack them all. <laughs> <laughs> what's with that side eye? <laughs> But he still can't go visit his uh, his wife's grave. No. It's nice to see that Freer is starting to affect the people around her, just like how um, what's his name did the same for her. Yeah, Himmel. got too much pride to say it <laughs> oh maybe not that's the thing if they pass the exam don't they get uh, any spell from um, yes Siri? they do yeah they do I wonder what Fern's gonna get oh Freeran won't even get one as well ah damn it I mean Freeran don't really care that much does she <laughs> I think she already does now, doesn't she? Yeah, but I don't know if she does enough. Mm, true. Yeah, well, yeah, there we go. Wow. That's mad. <laughs> Free run's face. What did she do? <laughs> what on earth did she do to her? Siri just doesn't like her, does she? Because uh, doesn't agree with her views on magic. Freeran's always been one that thinks magic's just for fun, isn't it? Yeah. Like a favourite spell was the flower one. I think a lot of people were saying that Siri has a lot of resentment against Freerun because she can see the potential of Freerun and feels like Freerun's just wasted it all. Oh, right, yeah, he was the guy, yeah. But he was the guy who was pretty powerful, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Has he been sent to attack? Okay, so he did. He was able to sense her. But he couldn't sense Siri, though. Yeah, what's he trying to get out here, though? Is he going to want to compete against her or something? Oh, well, he's actually going to try what? and kill her. Really? Why? Why, though? I don't, I don't <laughs> get that. This literally makes bit zero sense. Right yeah, now. a bit of a hole in logic, but oh, wow! He actually got a hit on.
Jesus. I, d I d this is annoying because I don't get it unless they're going to cover it. But yeah, it's kind of dumb. Oh. Oh, did she actually use that spell? Even. <laughs> well, she, I'm guessing this yeah. is why she got banned for calling her out on it. Yeah, it's alright for some. You can live for thousands of years. She can only live for like a hundred. So she does actually really care. Yeah. Right. Yeah, there you go. What spell did she choose? Do you know what? No, that's still a dumb moment for me. That is. It's really annoyed me, that is. Yeah, it was kind of... It does Stupid not make for him to any sense. <laughs> oh, I wasn't recognised, so I'm going to kill Free Ren. <laughs> uh, it's like, what? Meanwhile, during this time, Stark has literally become the Subaru of the Free Ren world. <laughs> <laughs> literally. <laughs> I'm curious what this guy taught. Uh, stuff. Yeah, I do want to know, like, because he was visiting every more. every day, wasn't he? Yeah, teaching him some sort of training. It will be interesting to see the power level of Stark when we get to see him in a fight again. Indeed. Spell what spell did she have? Gloves. Oh. Did she grow? What? Did she get a spell to grow taller or something, or was it cleaning her clothes? God, don't tell me she used a spell that was like fucking making her clothes smell like nice. <laughs> Literally, oh, my <laughs> God's sake, are you joking? What a waste! Oh come on, like oh my! Well, she's definitely a free run student. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Siri must be pissed off about that, right? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> no, I think that's nice because it, it, it does prove. <laughs> yeah, she is pissed off about it. <laughs> you can literally get any spell and <laughs> she just chooses like a free run. I love how she's still, so, she's still classed as free run student, yet she's more powerful than free run now, technically, on the, on, on the, oh. on paper. going to see more of them in the future. Ah, so it's something she learned from him or... I wonder if this season was more of a focus on closing down that story, do you know what I mean, the old story, and then it's more of a new story next. I feel like it's still going to be resolving the old stuff, because the end goal is so Free Run can finally speak to um, him, yeah. wasn't it? And yeah, yeah, it is, up. yeah. 
and I guess Fern to speak with um, Hyter. And um, Stark wants to go back and see um, Aizen, right? I wonder if we're going to see any of the other characters we met along the way in this. Oh, speak of which. Craft, isn't it? Yeah. Did he wonder if he got? I wonder if he managed to reach his target. Who's the woman there? Did he did, did he finally start travelling with an older woman? <laughs> was that what that was? <laughs> oh God. Is that the only scene they're going to give us? It would be embarrassing when we met again. Exactly what Himmel said, isn't it? Yeah. Well, there we are. That is the end of that. The uh, well, finale is done. Pre run is in the. Uh, well, in the, the journey to end continues. So yeah, we'll probably get another season at some point, right? Yeah. But Just God knows when. Yeah, that was the end. Thoughts on the final episode before we talk about the. Um, it's definitely a weaker episode. It was a very sort of slow, sort of closing, wrapping things up neatly episode instead of like more of a cliffhanger to get you hyped and excited for the next one. It just felt like wrapping everything up neatly, wasn't it, pretty much? Yeah. Um, it was okay. Um, I think overall the series has been pretty enjoyable. But yeah, what, what about you? What, what did you think of this episode then? Yeah, I didn't think much of the final episode, if I'm honest. I think I got really annoyed three quarters of the way through when that guy randomly just started attacking free run, literally for the most pathetic reason I've ever heard in the in the in in reasons. Like, really? Like, oh, I'm attacking you because um, basically my master has never really recognised me, and so I'm going to kill you. Okay, well, that makes no sense. But all right. <laughs> it's just that like craving for attention, isn't it? Like or like being acknowledged. I mean, oh. it, it it was kind of dumb, but you know it it happens. Like it happens in the real world as well. Like, yeah, yeah. I just found it weird to do it on a final episode, though. I think like I would, I probably wouldn't have minded it midway through a season and then explain it a little bit more and do a bit of dig- deeper diving into it, but just to have it in there. It's a bit weird for me. I was like, I think okay, it was well, it was just kind of a trending topic, though, wasn't it? For this episode, was just like the relationship between masters and students. Like, I think it was like exploring like Freerun and Fern and like Freerun and Flamme and Flamme and Sari and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, what do we think then, scoring wise? What are we scoring it on a scale hmm. of one to ten? The season. While while I did really enjoy the series as a whole, I still think it was slightly overrated. Like the how slightly, highly rated the series slightly is. Slightly overrated. It's considered the most highest rated anime of all time at the moment, which I don't under I is personally it that high? do not understand. Yeah. It's higher than Former and Alchemist Brotherhood, which obviously a lot of people keep saying is the greatest of all time. Like, See that's I'm surprising like, because I, I enjoyed it. But I don't think it's like the best thing I've ever watched. Like, I've really enjoyed the sort of unique sort of um, depiction of a fantasy anime. Like, mm, I really yeah. like how they explore like age and time. And, you know, I think it's very rare that we see stuff like with elves. And, you know, it actually really focuses on what it is like to be long lived or like immortal. And, you know, how things actually change, like, as time yeah, progresses yeah. and how that, you know, affects the character psychologically and all that sort of stuff. And I think it's really interesting. And I think that's probably one of my favorite things in the series is how they've explored all that. But at the same time, I still don't think this is in, like, the top three anime that of, like, my top three anime. No, so, and it's like, when, when I compare it to, like, if I think back... To the first season of Naruto, for example, and I'm, and I'm not trying to call out Naruto as being the greatest thing of all time because I still wouldn't put that as my favourite of all time anyway. But if I go back to the first season of Naruto, like when he was a kid, I'd say that was way better. But I mean, you know, that's just what it is. It is what it is. Like it's people... uh, you're, you're comparing like di- completely different genres of anime, though. Like I, I think it's hard to compare this to a shonen because it is definitely not a shonen. 
shown well, as a very long series anyway. Like this has been like what twenty something episodes, while the Shonen is like over like three hundred episodes or something. Yeah, true. But like, okay, then well, Blue Lock, for example, is like twenty four episodes. That's way better. Like Blue Lock is like ten times better. But um, yeah, yeah, but from the first place, like I didn't think you'd enjoy this anyway because it definitely doesn't seem like your sort of thing. Like, so I'm surprised you stuck it out for this long in the first place because. You know, your your thing is usually a heavily action sort of focused series mm. with like, you know, a lot of fighting and stuff, while this is like literally the complete opposite of that. Like Free Run is like exploring the other side of fantasy, which is you know Yeah. True, <laughs> but like I felt like I okay, a better example would probably be like Heavenly Delusion then. Like watching Heavenly Delusion, like that felt like that had for me, that mm. was better as well. That had a better first season. Like that was that was incredible. Actually, more I think about it, Heavenly Delusion, I still want the se- second season for that. Um, yeah. But anyway, scoring wise, then where are you going? <sighs> I'm kind of in between a seven or an eight at the moment. I'm leaning more on the eight. Um, what do you have our ratings? Yeah, yeah, I've got in front of you. So what was a seven, seven and what was an eight? Seven was it was good and enjoyable. We'll remember key moments of the series, but probably hazy on details. Eight was the series was great. Re, uh, really had a good time watching it. Would actively recommend this to other people. Mm. See, I'm like completely in between a seven and an eight at the moment. Go seven point five if you want, mate. You can sit in the middle. But our actual mal rating. I know, I know, but I, <laughs> I know. I know. Yes, yeah, true. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll give it a seven point five. But on the mal side, it will be leaning more towards the eight side. Okay. What about you? This Six. is going to be controversial. <laughs> Six. Six. Oof. What, what, what was the six? What was the six? Six was. Uh, it was okay. It had its ups and downs, but nothing was very memorable. Yeah, I, I guess that sounds fair from your sort. I mean, of... like, I, and let me explain this out before. Like, everybody and their dog <laughs> comes after me at the moment, like, because I know that lots of people loved Free Run, and I'm not saying I disliked it, because it, you know, if I disliked it, I'd have dropped it. Trust me, I would have dropped it. Um, I enjoyed okay. it. I just think it is over massively overhyped, and I'll I'll explain that. So. For example, Solo Leveling's getting an absolute crazy amount of hype at the moment, but that deserves the hype. Whereas this got so much hype all the time, and I don't think it deserves it. I just don't think it does. While I I do agree, I think it might be because it's... I think it's hyped up by a different type of fan. Like... Yeah, okay, I appreciate it. I feel like the people who hype up like stuff like Solo Leveling and stuff, they are like more action sort of like heavy sort of focused fans well i feel like this is probably more people hyping up like are the fans who are more fans of like other stuff which aren't like action focused like more story and like character exploration sort of series so i'm guessing it's a different type of fans which are like hyping this up and it it was good i'm just like I would, I would, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I, I right now don't understand how it's sitting at number one. That's what I'm struggling to understand. I am struggling uh, to. I think that's the case that. with everything, though, because I feel like all the most highly rated anime are overrated, like controversial. But I feel like you know it's the same thing for stuff like Full Metal Alchemist, One Piece, like um, Attack on Titan. Like they're all good. I really enjoyed them, but at the same time, I still don't think that they're, they're like the best thing ever created. So yeah. I'll tell you what. I, I think it's probably the same thing. I'll tell it? you what deserves to be up the very, very top, oh, and that is Kingdom. Kingdom needs to be number freaking one. Like there is nothing better than that. Like it's unreal, unreal. The emotion yeah. I'm getting off that is just unreal. It's it's always hard but, to say what the top anime is because just everyone's yeah, tastes are so different, and every anime, you know, the different good. genres are so I, I, different. Hey, it was good. It was good, and I, and and then so the reason why I gave it a six, it would have been higher if it had had more of the second half of this season. So first yeah. half of the season, I felt, I found it really slow. Like, I, know, I think I know, that is I also the same be, with me. But I'm like, it was really, like, really 
slow. Mm. Like so, and then I I do agree with you. I do agree with you because as as you know, we've spoken about before. I'm not a big fan of slice of life stuff. So yeah, as you said, a lot of the early season did feel very slice of life, and I understand why they did it because you know it was exploring like you know yes. Yeah. The passage of time and these, like, you know, small random adventures on this grand journey and all of that sort of stuff. And they needed to do it. But at the same time, like, you know, not being a fan of Slice of Life stuff, a lot of the random stories just kind of felt a bit random and boring. But I think, yeah. you know, it ties into the story and makes sense. And, you know, for all we know, like, as Friedrun has said, like, you know, they will they may come back in the future and play a role in things going forward yeah and i hope that and i hope that maybe on reflection in the future i'll come back and go okay i could see why that first season was the way it was and that's where mm. like like i said that's where probably i was a bit harsh to say compare yeah. it to naruto because i go naruto's had like literally well over 500 or something <laughs> episodes of like exactly, development so, exactly right um but, but no, I, I definitely can, I, I definitely see where you're coming from, and I do agree with some of those points. Um, even as someone who you know is more of a fan of this sort of show, um, but yeah, it was a little bit better stuff. than Reborn as a vending machine. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it was a little. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. That was awful. Uh, <laughs> that was all. No, Free Run was it's it's good. I, I will yeah. I will just leave it there. It's good. I wouldn't say it was something I would get out of bed for. It was good. I'd be happy to like. Yeah, I I enjoyed it. I'm I'm excited for the next season, but it's not like it's not one of those where I'm just like foaming Itching out of the mouth get, like yeah, I yeah, need yeah, the season yeah. right now. Like, well, pr- prime example for us at the moment is like I'm already thinking about tomorrow and going, oh my god, it's Saturday. Solo leveling is here. Like exactly, no, I do like, agree That's with you. the anime that I'm like, yeah, yeah. Anyway, but I'll, I'll keep keep going on forever, which I probably shouldn't. So, <laughs> um, but yes. Hopefully you all enjoyed it as well. So please let us know in the comments what you thought. Be very interested to see, to hear your thoughts uh, and what you would have scored it as well. And um, yeah, well, I guess we'll see you for season two in the future. But there's plenty of other things we're watching um, in the next season. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Here we go. Right, next season we've got these coming up. So if you're interested in any of these, stick around. We've got... Mashoka Tensei Season 2 Part 2. We've still got ReZero that we're doing. We're doing Full Metal Alchemist um, Brotherhood Viral Hit, which is based on a manga, so that'll be interesting. Um, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Fallout, if anybody liked Fallout the game, we're doing that. <laughs> Kaiju, number 8. Demon Slayer Season 4. And I think that's everything, if I can remember that. Yeah, anyway, yeah. So Probably. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Indeed. Um, well, thank you anyway, uh, so much for joining us on the journey anyway, and we will see you for something, I'm sure, in the future. Indeed. Cheers, guys. Bye.